Okay, I'm going to show you what to do if your MX-8 is moving slowly or not moving at all in the pool, or if it's getting stuck in the step area and not backing out, or if it's going in circles. So I have various parts I'm going to show you how to change to get the MX-8 moving again. And I covered this in the video I uploaded already, but if first thing to check is the track to see if the teeth are worn inside. If they're worn inside, it won't grip it and it won't move well, but these tracks are pretty much brand new. So they're not the problem. So the direc directional control device actually reverses the movement of the gears here. So when it hits neutral, I'll show you in a minute here. Get around here. So what happens when the cleaner supposed to reverse ever so often, it'll go into neutral where it stops moving and the directional control will actually reverse the cleaner and that's what gets it out of steps and out of corners. So if you're going like this and it goes into neutral, which will happen right now, see how it stopped? It's supposed to reverse right now and it's not reversing. Neither side is actually reversing. The left is reversing a little bit but the right isn't working at all. So that's the problem with this particular cleaner. And here's the part we're going to replace. There's two of them in the cleaner. They're about $25 each or so. I'm also going to replace the engine assembly. This is what propels the cleaner with the suction from the pool pump. And this will get go bad over time too and slow down. So if your cleaner is moving slowly in the pool, chances are it's the engine assembly that's going bad. Open up the cleaner. We're going to start taking parts apart. There's actually eight screws, two here. Here there's four, and there's two more here on this side. So I'm gonna take all eight of those out. So I'm gonna remove all eight screws and I'll show you how to pull that top part off. After you get the screws out, this piece should lift right up and out. There you go. First thing I'm gonna cover if this MX-8 is going in circles. Simple solution that I got off of the trouble free form from a post from Jay Guy is to put a washer here to kind of make this a little bit tighter so it doesn't slip. They've noticed that the plastic part is not catching all the way when it's spinning. You can just pull this part out. There's a screw right there. We'll take that screw out. Get the screw out. So you can just pull this off. And you can put a washer right here on top of the bearing. And we'll put this part back on. You might need two washers depending. But this was a pretty big washer so it'll suffice put the screw back on. You can see it gives it a little more tension so it fits in there a little tighter. You don't want it in there too tight because then it won't spin at all but you can see that this is in there actually a little bit tighter causing it to catch more. So it makes it a little bit more snug fit and that's one solution if your cleaner is going in circles. I'll show you how to change the directional control device and they're marked side A and side B. Let's go ahead and pull this out again. We're going to turn it on the side here. We'll pull the, the track off. So there are two screws holding on the side. There's a gray. There's a, one here in this gray part. If you turn it over on the inside, there's another screw right there holding it on. So let's get these two screws off. And the screws on the bottom is a little tricky. It doesn't really come all the way out. So let's pull the whole thing off. So the whole side of the MX-8 comes out. Now we can pop this one out. Get the screw out here. That screw out. So this should slide out now of the body. Oops. <laughs> Comes right out. This one here is marked A. There's a little A right there. So that's side A. You can see it's pretty worn out. It doesn't catch all the way sometimes as you're spinning it. So it's definitely worn. I got the side A one. It's simply matching up the screw holes. You know, there's a hole right there in the bottom that goes right there. That goes right there and it just snaps right in. We'll take it back over to the body. Put it on there. We'll screw it back on. Okay, so make sure it's snug on the body like that, the frame. We'll put the screw back in. You want to get the screws mixed up. The one that goes here on the inside is actually a pointy screw. And it goes in there and it goes into the frame. Put the track back on and we'll test it to make sure that that fixed the problem. I'm going to do side B also before I test it. Pull this off. Again, it's really simple to work on. 
I'm gonna get this screw off here. Like I said, this one, both of them aren't working well. Side B is working a little better. It's actually trying to reverse a little bit, but the side A is not reversing at all. So the body should come off now that I got both screws out. Pop this thing out. Should come right out. The new side B here, I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with the screw on the bottom. Slide it in there. Make sure it's in there tight. Slide it back onto here. Make sure it's snug on the frame. I'll get the screws back in. Okay, I put that track back on. Now let's get the middle piece back in here. I'm gonna tighten a couple of the bolts down on the shield and keep it from falling out when I test it. Press that down. Make sure that's in there good and flat. I'm gonna put a couple of screws in here to hold this on while I test it. Okay, I put three screws in. Should hold it in temporarily while I test it. Go ahead and close the top. Testing side A right now. Right now it's going forward. It's spinning really good. Side A, I'm spinning it. It's going forward. Now it's in neutral. Now it should reverse. Now it's reversing. Good. It should stop again. And then go forward. Now it's going forward. And so that fixed the problem, and side B should be the same way. And so that's usually the case when the MX-8 is not reversing or getting stuck on the step area of your pool. Now if it's moving slowly, I'll show you how to change the engine. Let's pop this one open again. I'm going to take those three screws off that I put in there. Get this out. I'm going to pull this thing out again. I left that washer in there still to give it a little more tightness so that it doesn't have that problem when it's going in circles. Okay, it may feel pretty tight, but you just kind of wiggle it. You can pull this shaft right out. This one also on this side. Just kind of wiggle it, and then it'll come out. Again, it feels tight in there, but it's not really in there good. All you have left now is the bearings. All you have left is the bearings and the engine. I'm spinning it so you can see the difference. When I put the new one on here, you'll see this probably will spin a lot better than this one. Bearings off, you may, need a, you may need a pair of pliers, but you can just get a screwdriver and kind of wedge it against the engine itself and kind of push, use the engine as your <clears throat> leverage here, kind of like rest the screwdriver against it, kind of just slowly work the bearing off. It's on there really tight. It's getting looser, it's almost off here. And they're under tight for a reason because it's got to spin it. Almost. I can pull it off now. Got that one off. And same thing with the side. I took a new bearing out of the bag. I'm going to go ahead and put it on and test it to see if it makes a big difference. It was spinning really good. Let me put the old bearing on here and spin it. Maybe I'll just replace the bearings too. Yeah, the bearings aren't spinning too well. So I'll just go ahead and put new bearings on. You can see they're spinning a lot better. So get the MX-8 moving really good. So I'm going to press down firmly to get the bearings on. And they go on, of course, with the blue piece facing out. Let me get the other one on. Push the other one on here. Okay, once they get on there, they're hard to get off, but they go on pretty easy. See the engine assembly is spinning much better with the new bearings and with the new engine. I want to put the drive shaft back in. Should slide in there pretty good. Oops. I'll get the other one in this side. You can make sure we push them all the way in. You'll know they're all the way in because you won't see that line where the water was. So they're that one's in all the way. And it won't fit in the MX-8 if it's not in all the way this back in MX-8. I'm going to go ahead and put all the bolts back in also. The eight screws. Make sure it's down there snug. It's got to be sitting in there good. Cover back on and put the eight screws in. Move this a little bit so I can slide this on. This thing should run like a brand new cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and test it in my test pool here. And I have the uh, X7 suction fitting adapter, so this actually fits MX8 hoses to regular universal hoses. 
I detail this in my video how to hook a canister up here MX-8. Lead hose on here. Got my adapter hooked up here. I'll throw it in the pool and see if it's working. Okay, I've got it hooked up to the cleaner hose that was in the pool. Let me increase the suction here. The MX-8 requires a little more suction. It's actually coming up to the surface of the pool. It's got maybe a little bit too much suction. I don't want it to do that. It should go back into neutral and reverse itself out of that area. And I'll probably lower the suction slightly. Go neutral right there. Now it's turning. Turning itself again. forward. That's how the MX-8 should operate. Here's the MX-8 on the step area. should reverse itself out of there. There it goes. It's working correctly. And I hope you found that video helpful. And I hope that solves the problem with the MX-8. The parts are really easy to change as you can see from the video to get it working like new again.